Hi, I'm Stephanie Carrington, and in this episode of Spice Singapore, we find out what the buzz is in our garden city. The honeybees have been around for millions of years, inspiring poets, philosophers, Roman goddesses, and eco-warriors like Carl Battista. This scientist is on a mission to conserve the Singapore bee. Here in Singapore, there's more species of flowers and insects, plants and insects in the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve than there is in the whole of North America. Almost all the insect pollinated flowers in Singapore need to be pollinated by some sort of insect. And of that, about two thirds of all that pollination is done by honeybees. Carl and his team at Pollen Nation provide a bee evacuation service where they go to urban settings to remove and relocate bees to places that have a suitable bee scape. So what we did was we saw that the bees were in a little gap yep, like that, yep. so we just shoved the box over it, and so now the bees have to go through my box ah. before they come out. So what they'll start to do is they'll realize that this box is a nice, safe, secure ah. environment, and then they start to build all their eggs and honey stores and, yeah. and all that stuff in there. Okay. So once that's full, okay. we can remove this box mm -hmm. and relocate it to a school in Singapore. Ah. Carl wants to inspire the next generation to allow a space for these busy pollinators. Instead of burning the hives removed from urban settings, his team of volunteers creates a bee oasis. Well, I actually want to get a stingless beehive into every primary school in Singapore. The first reason is it would be the coolest training aid for primary schools to be able to interact with bees and pollination is part of the science curriculum for primary five and primary six. The second reason is if you put a beehive in a school School and the environment around the school is good, that beehive will survive and it will flourish. But if the environment is not good, say for instance there's heavy metals in the water or the flowers have been polluted with pesticides or fertilizers, then what you can have is you can see the hives not doing so well. So we can now use these bees as an environmental barometer for the environment surrounding a school. True to his background in science, Carl also engages with students who analyze the honey to get precious data on the flowers and their flowering cycles. Well, what the student researchers have done um, has been extremely exciting for us because we have been able to use tropical bees that we find here in Singapore um, that produces a honey that has very, very beneficial medical applications. So by preserving the bee species, by keeping them alive, by improving the diversity, we can find new sources of honeys, we can find new sources of medical products derived from bees that can benefit Singaporeans. Buy in Singapore honey and buy Singapore honey. Not unless you're a chef. What we do is by sharing it with food artisans, they can turn it into different food items and then we can have a shared revenue model with them. So one of our items is honey kaya. So we work with a chef named Nixon Law who, who makes that for us. So this is honey kaya, because normally kaya doesn't contain honey. It's always sugar. sugar. It's always sugar, that's wow. good. So we try to do it as natural as possible. Okay, uh, the kaya is ready. I actually cool it down. So it becomes nice and thick, uh, and then you adjust a little bit more honey. And there are also some edible herbs and flowers over there from my garden. So because cute. bees and uh, flowers actually they are best friends. So I decided to just... Oh, Fantastic. Enjoy guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. Yummy! Let's dig in. For Carl, this is one way right. to celebrate the taste yeah, of Singapore. And the humble bee will definitely not be forgotten. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and you've been watching Spice Singapore. Now, this week, we've been focusing on Nature Singapore by getting close to some small but very important eco-warriors. Now, if you have your own ideas of things in Singapore that you'd like to share and do with your overseas friends and family, well, guess what? You can make your own invite by heading to the website below, and who knows? Your wish may just come true. Now, for more amazing things about our buzzing Singapore, you can head on down to Spice Singapore's YouTube channel. See you there.